Hello friends, and welcome to another Modern League. Today we're playing Rakdos Money, I mean Rakdos Monkey. And uh, this deck should be fairly familiar to anyone playing Modern in uh, the current meta. Uh, it's been very, very popular. And it's uh, it's a very low-to-the-ground aggressive deck. We, we've seen decks like this uh, previously running Death Shadow and Scourge of the Skyclaves. But uh, this time we're choosing to run Dothy Voidwalker, Ragavan, and the uh, Dragon Rage Channeler, which is the uh, the trio of Rakdos creatures. We've also got Kroxa to top it off. And then we just run a bunch of um, removal and hand disruption. Uh, we're running Terminate because of um, Murktide. And then also four Colligan's Commands main. Uh, which are going to be very good versus hammer time. Party! Ah, uh, yeah, this looks like fine. Totally fine. Let's keep it. Some big canyon, Dragon Rage Channeler. We get another Thought Seize. I'm thinking if we deploy one of our own creatures here, it's just going to wind up eating a removal spell, which is going to um, allow them to uh, to get a surveil going. I'm kind of leaning towards just like thought seizing the opponent here. Oh uh, yeah, so that is a bunch of removal and lingering souls. I don't really want to throw lingering souls into the graveyard, but then again, like it's going to be a difficult one to uh, to deal with. Our deck is definitely not set up for the souls. I think we'll take lightning bolt here. I think I'm just going to terminate the uh, Dragon Rage Channeler. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll let them think that they're keeping the channeler here. King Kumpf. How's it going? We're just uh, going to try and throw money at our opponents until they give up. That's our plan for today. Cool, cool. Oh, okay, playing For Honor. I remember I played a little bit of that game when they were doing like a free weekend thing. Seemed pretty cool. Sweet. I'll uh, thank you very much for stopping by. So we could play the Dragon Rage Channeler, then terminate this Channeler. 
Um, one of the reasons I'm kind of into that play is we've got this Colligan's command now, so we could get the uh, Darcy back with it. Um, and then there's also the Luris hanging out in our uh, command zone or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to go DRC terminate. Another Darcy. That's probably fine. I think we want more threats. Go top. Oh, um, that would have made our Dragon Rage channeler bigger. That's fine. It's fine. So yeah, if we had put the other Darcy into the graveyard, we could have threatened a block here, but we know they have Fatal Push, so... Dragon Rage Channeler was going to die before it got a chance to do anything, regardless. And now we have uh, Darcy on top with um, Delirium, so that's kind of cool. And who knows, maybe we can even get this monkey to connect. Um, maybe I go Thoughtseize to see if I can play the monkey first. And then I can use the treasure to play Darcy. I will get rid of the season pyro here. Yeah, Ragavan uh, kind of exploded onto the scene. That price tag, I mean. Uh, so it looks like we milled a land. No, here it is. It was just uh, hiding behind the Luris. So we hit a season Pyromancer. We don't have the mana to play it, so we'll just play Darcy. So we've taken two of these Pyromancers away from them. One is in the graveyard, though, so they can get value from it still. And uh, our life total is not the healthiest. We do have to be careful about that. More souls. I wonder if they're going to try and kill the uh, Darcy here. Okay, they're just going to chump. So, let's see here. We could play Ragavan and then on their draw step, make them discard a card and bring Darcy back to hand. Yeah, it looks like Mardu value. But with these, um, where is it? The Faithless Salvaging is kind of making me wonder if they have some other engine going on. I would really like to get Luris. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Luris to hand. Um, and I think I'm going to put the monkey onto the board. Because the lures can bring the monkey back. And so can the Colligan's Command. So I don't feel too bad about putting it onto the board here. So they just play land, make another spirit. Um, this is death pretty quickly here. 
But if we can get the Lurus to connect, that's three life. And we can play a Dragon Rage Channeler, but that would actually um, mean that we wouldn't have Delirium anymore unless they kill the Ragavan. So maybe we want the Ragavan to die so we can play Lurus and Dragon Rage Channeler to block. Well, let's attack and see what happens. I think they're going to block both. No, they're only blocking the monkey. Oh, that's fair. Okay, let's bring out this flyer. And go. How many do they attack with here? They have one card left in hand, could be anything. Okay, no attacks with the spirits. Excellent. Uh, I think I go down to five here. They also didn't kill the Luris, which is pretty great. So depending on their blocks here, they could just be dead. Am I allowed to dash this? No, right? Dash is only from hand. No, it says you may cast this spell for his dash cost, so we should be able to dash Ragavan. Ah, but that means the Dragon Rage Channelers don't have uh, Delirium if we do that. I think I'm just going to attack all, um, see how they block, and then we can maybe like return the Luris to our hand. Maybe we just win, depending on their blocks. Okay, I'm thinking... Um, kill a spirit and make them discard a card. Uh, choose target player and any target. Put that to the graveyard. That's the graveyard. Cool. All right, so let's see here. We don't want to take the creature out because then our Darcy's would die. So we're just going to pass the turn. Ooh, where did all my time go? Well, first time playing the deck, so I guess I'm playing a little bit slow. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Okay, opponent scoops him up. <laughs> Imagine slow playing. Slow playing, playing slow. Almost the same thing. So let's see here. Engineered Explosives is interesting. Being able to eliminate all their tokens in one go. Uh, Soul Guy Lantern. Don't think that's where we necessarily need to be. Money for the monkey. Monkey money. I'm hoping the monkey can get us some money today.
Yeah, Lantern does hit Souls and Spyro. It, it does have hits. But how many cards do we realistically want to take out? Um, I think we should probably take out some number of Thoughtseize. Maybe even like just all the Thoughtseizes. Yeah, it's their deck seems to just be like a value. Um, they just are using their graveyard as an extra resource, like an extra hand. So they're trying to get uh, the synergy to be very high between their cards, is what it seems like. I imagine they're probably playing Kroxa as well. They might have Luris in the main. Right, so I wanted some explosives for their spirits. Bring in a Soul Guide Lantern. Don't think I want the Collective Brutality. Discarding cards from their hand isn't very good. And the Pyrite Spell Bomb doesn't seem like it's going to be very good either. Um, this is mostly going to be, I think, to uh, kill creatures that have protection from our colors, like um, Sanctifier on Vec. Uh, yeah, this hand looks great. So they're going to have removal spells. Um, kind of thinking we're going to start with Darcy, then we'll go Dothy, and then we can start dashing Ragavan, I think. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. Play the Voidwalker. Oh, they're casting something in response. Faith is salvaging. So they uh, don't lose the lingering souls. And they're going to be able to flash that back. Okay. So they're pretty interested in getting those souls out this turn. They might also have a one mana spell they could use to get rid of this Voidwalker here. Yep, there it goes. So if they have land here, which they should, we're not going to be able to use our lantern to get rid of their souls. Ooh, they have two souls in the graveyard. Ooh, this is really good. We actually get to kill both of their souls. So we go uh, dash Ragavan, hit them, and then soul guide lantern wipe their graveyard. So good. Okay, ooh, Colligan's Command. No Colligan's Command for you, opponent. Let's go get a Swamp. Soul Guide. Uh, whatever, Lingering Souls doesn't really matter. I'm going to get rid of all of them right now. And we'll hold up Lightning Bolt. Go ahead. That was a good turn. Ooh. Okay. I mean, you, this planeswalker is going to die. But uh, it can get some value. Exiles, two cards from my graveyard, yep. So we're going to have to use the Lightning Bolt to get rid of it. Okay. 
And I don't think we get a card this way either. Because I think Ragavan has to hit the opponent, right? To a player, yep. We gotta kill this Kaya. Cancel that. Play Darcy first. And Lightning Bolt. Engineered Explosives. Do I want Explosives? I think that would be pretty sweet in the graveyard. Because we would have Creature Land Artifact that way. And this hits instant, so now we have uh, we have the thing. All right, pass turn. Delirium unlocked. Okay, they got a Darcy and pass. Oh, they're gonna bolt our Darcy. And we get a Void Walker. Mana's a little bit awkward here. If I had one more mana, I'd be pretty comfortable Colligan's Command, the Dragon Rage Channeler. But they have three types in the graveyard. So if I miss, if they like throw it an instant and are able to mill something. I guess they can just use the spell bomb, right? Yeah, okay, so they have it on demand. They just use the spell bomb and this thing becomes a 3-3. So Call Against Command is a no-go. So I guess we're going Void Walker, Soul Guide Lantern. And I'll just go ahead and get rid of Kaya, take a Planeswalker type out of their graveyard. Nice. Dothy Voidwalker, doing work. Okay, so we can kill their uh, Dragon Rage Channeler, and we can get our Dothy Voidwalker back. Let's see here. Uh, return to a creature from a graveyard, and deals two damage to any target. Yep. And I think we'll just pass here. I don't want to throw Ragavan under the bus. We can dash it next turn. Croxa. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Oh, they discard Dam. Okay. Put out the. Ah, I should have put out the Void Walker first, because then we could have gotten whatever the card was. Um. Yeah, and then again, like playing the Croxa first plays uh, tries to play around instant speed removal. What I'm trying to say is it's difficult to find whatever is exactly the right line. There's a lot of moving parts going on here for such a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck. I like it. Okay, Lightning Bolt gets rid of the Void Walker again. 
and they have no cards in hand, so we're free to use the Ragavan. Unholy Heat. Oh, we're not going to be using that. Uh, I think we'll just play this untapped and put the Luris into our hand. Okay, here's a Kaya. So that's going to be able to get rid of the Voidwalker and the Kroxa. So Luris isn't going to be getting too much done, unfortunately. But it is still a, uh, a creature. It has a uh, lifelink. It has stats. You know, Ragavan, I'm going to hit them, I think. I want more value here. And we don't have a way to get the Kaya off the board. Ooh, nine cards in exile? That's terrifying. Nothing. I'm going to leave the land in hand just in case they have something like a, uh, a Kroxa. So they could, that way I can save the Ragavan. Maybe I should have drawn a card with a Soul Guide Lantern and then I could have replayed it. Ooh, Pyromancer. That's terrifying. Dreadbore. Okay, so I can get rid of the Kaya with a Dreadbore. I, I should probably just get rid of the Pyromancer, and then I can get rid of both. Okay, so that's perfect. Kill the Pyro... Uh, Dash Ragavan. Actually, should I draw a card first? Let's draw a card first. Terminate. Okay. We get a swamp. Dash Ragavan. And Killer Walker. Yeah, yeah. That would have been nice if we had done that in the proper order. Um, we could have done something a little bit cooler there, but as is, it's fine. Totally fine. We got so much stuff to do, it's an embarrassment of riches. Top the bolt. See what we reveal here, Pyromancer? Yes. I would like to draw two cards. With one of them being Lightning Bolt. Um yeah, we'll just pass here. We could have taken down Lightning Bolt to uh, use a Soul Guide Lantern, eliminate their graveyard and uh, play it again, but why bother? We were just at such a huge advantage. We didn't need to uh, use time off our clock to do something like that. We've got turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Kroxa. We're going to keep this.
Ooh, yeah, take me that cigar to aid. Your hand is pretty garbage now. Playing against Hammer Time. Colligan's command is going to be so good against them. Of course, they probably just draw Cigar to Zade right off the top. That's how magic works. Play Memnite. Yep. And then Giver of Ruins. Yep. So they have Springleaf Drum, Horizon Canopy, and Unknown. So we could Kroxa away a Springleaf Drum. We could Terminate a Giver of Ruins. I think we probably just Kroxa here. Frogmite Giver Time is not how you build that deck. They would have had a much better turn if they still had Cigar to Zade. That somebody took away their toys. Maybe I'm just supposed to terminate. I'm probably just supposed to terminate. Get rid of this giver of runes. No, you slam that uh, turn one aid so that the opponent can't uh, strip it away with a uh, discard spell. Like I just did. There's the canopy. And the Springleaf Drum, that was the last known card. Opponent is operating with two unknowns. Get a lightning bolt. So I'm thinking Kroxa, uh, hold up the bolt. And then we can call against command for some serious value when they present something a little bit better. Okay, so they discard planes. And they have something they want to do during my turn. Oh, draw a card. That makes sense. Hammer Time is uh, pretty satisfied with three mana. Which is uh, the amount of mana it takes to make a card instruct. If you include tapping the, uh, the Urza Saga itself. Look at this. Mismatched Mem Knights, you monster. Going to go ahead and get a tapped Blood Crypt. Uh, not interested in allowing the opponent to draw a card here. I think we'll probably call against command, um, destroy Esper Sentinel, destroy Memnite. Or we could just lightning bolt the Esper Sentinel, but then we don't have call against command up. I mean, we're not going to have anything up anyways and it doesn't matter the opponent's only going to have one card so yeah we just got to destroy something so do we use the colligan's command or the lightning bolt 
I think I'm leaning towards using the lightning bolt to kill the sentinel. I'd like to keep the Colligan's command to kill a hammer. All right, what are you drawing? Giver of runes, okay. So we got a bunch of cards in the graveyard. We got a bunch of lands. We can Kroxa now. Oh, we draw another Kroxa. <laughs> Donut. I imagine that you tilted a couple players just from the art of your deck. Some people are pretty particular about that. I guess you could say, or they will say, oh, it's because, you know, having mismatch art gives your opponent a small advantage. Another Kroxa. So that's all the Kroxa. We have maximum Kroxa here. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm just going to go Kroxa, Kroxa here, both of them from hand. Because we know what the opponent has, and this way we get to um, ditch their Luris. Oh, Robin Hood. Thank you, I will take a drink. Cheers. All right, bye-bye, Luris. And opponent scoops him up. Cool. All right, so we've already got the Colligan's commands. Those are great. Uh, we'll bring in the Pyrate Spell Bombs, the Engineered Explosives... Um, we could bring in Alpine Moon to hit their Urza Sagas. But we didn't see any Sagas, so like it is barely possible that maybe the opponent is playing with a budget version that doesn't have any. So let's see here. I definitely want the Terminates. I want the Bolts. Um, the Inquisitions are fine. Explosives are amazing, obviously. Do I want to bring in the Alpine Moon, though, for Urza's Saga? Probably. Like, Urza's Saga is such a powerful card. And they should definitely have it in their deck. Um, Urza's Saga knocks Hammer Time straight into Tier 1. So, what do I want to take out for the 3 Alpine Moon? Um, like I said, I would like to keep the Inquisitions. Um, they could potentially like knock a Luris out of the opponent's hand. So I've got um, the Croxas as an option. Dothy Voidwalker as an option. I think I want to keep... Um, ah, what about the Ragavan? Ragavan doesn't seem super good in this matchup. They got um, Memnite to block it, Esper Sentinel. I'm going to keep two Ragavans, and maybe I'll knock out one of the Inquisitions. All right, so let's try this. I think we got a pretty decent sideboard plan. Okay, we get uh, turn one Inquisition. Our lands are a little bit awkward for the Void Walker, but this is definitely a keep. Yeah, 
And yeah, I'm going to want to use this Inquisition immediately while they still have cards in hand. Oh, they are mulliganing as well, so Inquisition just got better. Oh, they mulliganed again. That's a double Raven's Crime. The art on this Kroxa is wicked. All those uh, hungry mouths. Okay, what do we got? Horizon Canopy to start. And Esper Sentinel. That's a really good start from the opponent. Uh, I think I'm going to go Darcy then. Uh, we could actually just get totally punished. If they have Sigarda's Aid Hammer. We just get totally screwed. So maybe we have to hold up the lightning bolt. And let them draw a card. I think that's probably the safest thing. We just hold up lightning bolt this turn. And then we use it end of their turn to kill the Esper Sentinel. Or if they cast another Esper Sentinel, we'll do it in response. But we're going to want to go ahead and uh, use the Lightning Bolt this turn so that we can uh, Dragon Rage Channeler Inquisition on the following turn. There's the Saga. Okay, so good thing we brought in the Alpine Moon. Maybe we'll get really lucky and draw Alpine Moon off the top. There's the Sigarda's Aid. Mm, if they have hammer in hand, I was supposed to use the lightning bolt already, but I guess worst case we can use terminate. They do have the hammer. Okay. A11? <laughs> No, not happening. So they're going to be able to draw two cards out of that Esper Sentinel. Uh, do I terminate now? I don't see too much value in waiting. So that undoes their mulligan. Esper Sentinel did a lot of work. But it's also partially my fault. I got greedy. I should have bolted in response to the Sigarda's aid. That was um, stupid. You know what? I deserve this. All right, so they're going to start making Saga tokens. Oh, no, Sanctifier. Oh, wow. They got some really good cards here. We do have answers to Sanctifier, though. And we can get rid of the rest of their hand. Ooh, we just happened to draw the answer to Sanctifier off the top. All right, um, we'll go Inquisition, and then we'll have an answer. Let's see what they're holding. Another Sigarda's Aid and a Giver, so I guess we'll get rid of the Giver.
kill their critter, pass on. Okay, so they make a Karnstruct. Uh, probably go get Spear. Spear is something really nice to put onto these Karnstructs. Oh, they go get another... Oh, well, that makes sense, because they have the Sigarda's Aid. Duh. Forgot about that. That's the obvious play. Alright, so we got uh, Darcy to block. We can put a Voidwalker down. Alpine Moon, a turn too late. Where were you last turn? Well, I guess we needed the Pyrate Spell Bomb, so is what it is. Although if they had been reversed, I would have been pretty happy. All right, do we hit take a hit from the Karnstruct here? I think we probably take a hit. Maybe we won't even get the option. Oh, Pure Steel Paladin. So yeah, we're not going to be taking a hit. We are chumping. Okay, smart. Split the hammers. That way a lightning bolt isn't going to do any work. And another Kroxa. So I think we're just dead. The opponent doesn't have anything exiled that we can uh, use with a Voidwalker. Voidwalker can't block. I think we just have to go on to the next game. I don't feel pretty bad about that punt, but we'll try and do better this time. Do we want to bring in the Soul Guide Lantern for their Luris? I don't think so. Okay, take the play. I'll show you my cat if you show me yours. Alpine Moon, Terminate, Culligan's Command, this hand is gas, we'll keep. And we get to start out with a fork. Probably keep Alpine Moon in hand until they play in Urza Saga. Or maybe even just, like, put it out on turn two. Depending on how they play it, I might need to hold up the Terminate. If I just play the Alpine Moon, then they don't get the mana from Urza Saga either. Alright, let's see what's on top. Uh, Inquisition of Kozilek is kind of nice. So I'm just going to play the Alpine Moon off of Blood Crypt then. Well, 
All right, so we did have an option of keeping this in hand to use it as a, a land destruction spell, but I decided that I would rather them not have access to that one point of mana. Esper Sentinel, okay. So let's see here. If they have land, Sigardazade, Hammer, Hammer... So if they have double cigar to say double hammer and a land, we get punished for playing the Inquisition here. We're going to go for it. That seems uh, unlikely. More likely we get to totally ruin whatever they're doing. So they do have a saga. Um, I think we just get rid of Giver of Ruins here. Wonder if they know that uh, Alpine Moon destroys sagas as soon as they put them into play. Probably. At this point, I think that's old news that um, Blood Moon, Alpine Moon, these kind of cards will just uh, kill the saga immediately. Ooh, Colossus Hammer. Yep. So let's see here. We know the two cards they have in hand. And we can, so let's see here, Colligan Command is ready to go if we need it. But if we can wait a turn, then we don't have to pay for the Esper Sentinel. And we can destroy the Esper Sentinel and the Hammer. So let's just pass on. If the opponent's not doing anything uh, too threatening, then we don't need to play the Colligan's Command. But I would want, want to keep the mana up just in case they happen to draw a, um, a Paladin. Sanctifier. Oh, that is a problem. So I could terminate the Esper Sentinel, and then I have the Colligan's Command up. To what? Doesn't do too much against a Sanctifier. I'm going to need to get the Luris into my hand, so we got to get rid of this Esper Sentinel. Oh, okay. Well, that is a card. Let's go get Swamp and put Luris to hand. We're going to be taking a bit of damage from the Sanctifier on Vec, but uh, we have a Lightning Bolt up so we don't die to Ink Moth Nexus. But if they do get a Paladin, putting Hammer onto Sanctifier is a huge problem. I mean, we do have Colligan's Command to get rid of the Hammer itself. So there is that. Okay, so we're on turn four. So they're really going to show if they know the interaction between Moon and Saga at this point. But from the fact that they haven't played the Saga yet, I'm pretty sure they do. No, another Sanctifier on Vec. Brutal. Now we're going to need to find an Engineered Explosives pretty soon. These things are going to chip away at our life total real quick. Oh, 
that's not it. But we can use that to do the fork with the uh, the bobble. Target ourselves. Uh, call against command is not what we want. So we'll play the mire. And I think we'll just go get what? Swamp again or mountain? Um, swamp again. Another terminate. So, I mean, we're getting removal spells, but not the ones that we need. We need very specific removal spells to be good versus sanctifiers. Sigarda's Aid. Okay, that's a good card. We know they have Saga in hand, so we're not dead yet. Uh, go get Lurus. And no attacks. Okay. Another command. Oh, stop. Okay, phew. Almost went too far there. I almost forgot about the Mishra's Bobble. Let's draw a card, please. Uh, they have a Memnite on top. Oh, Dragon Rage Channeler. That does let us uh, chew through our cards a little bit quicker. But Sanctifier is going to exile most of them, so Lurus can't do too much with them. Why no double KC, Colligan's Command? I was just waiting for the Lurus. Can't use them on Sanctifiers on Vec, so I was just waiting for a better target. Uh, let's see here. Destroy an artifact, two damage to a target. Uh, destroy Colossus Hammer, two damage to Lurus. Uh, we could terminate the Giver. Seems fine. Get a mountain. Uh, let's play Darcy. And play Bobble. Into the graveyard with you. Uh, what do you got on top? Steel Shaper's Gift. Oh, no, that gets them Hammer. Good thing we have Call Against Command to get rid of Hammer. Um, go. Croxa. Oh, that can start doing things. Does it have Trample? No, it does not. 
but we can continuously just play it with Luris. Hey there, blind. I have added some bio. Oh, and a uh, bit of good news. I uh, found a place. So I've got uh, a new apartment starting next month. Yeah, huge load off my toad, if you know what I mean. Definitely. Uh, a bit small, but big enough for me, that's for sure. Sanctifier shuts down Kroxa. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we destroy this artifact and like making them discard a card just makes them discard Urza Saga. We can't return a creature. So we could do two damage to them or we could kill the Mem Knight. I think I'll kill the Mem Knight. Destroy an artifact, two damage to a target. Uh, destroy the Colossus Hammer and two damage to the Mem Knight. Dothy Voidwalker. I mean, we can attack with it. It's not what I'm looking for, but it is a card. I think we really need to find like the answers to the Sanctifiers. Get rid of the Voidwalker. I'm interested in answers. All right, so the question is, do we throw a Lightning Bolt to get an extra trigger out of the Dragon Rage Channeler? I think it's more important to keep the Lightning Bolt for the Nexus. Uh, another Dragon Rage Channeler. Let's put that down. We got some extra Surveils. Uh, terminate. Don't want it. I mean, Terminate's great in this matchup, but I need something to deal with Sanctifiers on Vec. Put that to the Graveyard. Uh, what do you got on top? You got another Mem Knight. Okay. Um, might as well Kroxa, I guess. It just, like, doesn't do enough. I think it might be better just to leave it in hand. Because if we manage to get rid of the Sanctifiers, then Kroxa becomes super good. Just got to draw to those Engineered Explosives or Pyrate Spell Bombs. Any one of them, like, we can get rid of both Sanctifiers immediately. But as is, we only have a few more turns. Another Blood Crypt. Brutal. Alright, let's uh, keep churning through the deck. Put that into the graveyard. Into the graveyard. Almost halfway through our deck. Looking for those engineered explosives. Pyrite spell bombs. What have you got, opponent? Oh, Prismatic Ending on top. Um, that's not... Okay, that gets rid of Alpine Moon. So we should probably get rid of the um, Urza Saga in their hand.
Hall against command, okay. So this puts us to five, and then this puts us to three, and then they kill us. Um, yeah, we're going to do it now. We're going to bolt now. We have the Colligan's command to kill the Nexus, so we got to do something. We could have even actually just used the Colligan's command during their upkeep to get rid of the Prismatic ending. Hey, hello and good morning to yourself. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sanctifier doesn't make sense. Sanctifier is an inc incredible magic card. Uh, as a Hammer Time player, I love this card so much. As an opponent of Hammer Time, oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, Darcy don't want it. Gone through half of the deck now. Terminate don't want it. Hammer's back to the top because of these white cards. Yep. Hammer's at the top where it deserves to be. Deck, that is not what I needed at all. Can't really even fetch because that puts us to lethal. They have a giver of runes coming up. So we can make them discard their Giver of Ruins and deal two damage to them, I guess. Well, we can attack with Lurus and Ragavan. They block Lurus, then we get to play Giver. I guess they could block Ragavan with Ink Moth Nexus. Now we have the Colligan's command for that. Colligan's command and pray. Yep. Another land. Oh well. Did not draw to our outs. So we know we have a giver. So the Ink Moth Nexus isn't that scary. We can just do two damage to them. Get rid of the giver of ruins. Uh, target player discards. And two damage to a target. Okay. Alpine Moon, no. Marsh Flats, no. So we're out. We need it to just naturally be our top card. Has to be one of our answers to Sanctifier. 
but we did a really good job of chewing through our deck. Um, we got down to 23 cards. Ooh. Pedro, that would have been a pretty good line. If we could have gotten Luris to start swinging in for a lifelink, that would have been everything. Um, we need Engineered Explosives for two or Pyrate Spellbomb. Because we have the Luris, Pyrate Spellbomb isn't out. We can get rid of both Sanctifiers. Damn it. Well, uh, that's it. We don't have it. What do you got on top? Silent Clearing. Uh, Luris, the damage is prevented, right? So we don't gain life. We are going to get something... Okay, no, we just take the silent clearing off the top of their deck. We don't even get anything with Ragavan. For a second there, they took the Sanctifier off block for the Luris, and I was like, oh, maybe we're going to get to gain the life. No, we don't get to gain the life. Close game, hard fought, opponent wins. Um, one land hand, but we got Ragavan and Inquisition. I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to take a look what's on top of their library here, see if that gives us an idea about uh, what they have. Thoughtseize. Okay. So they're going to have... They're, they're probably playing the same deck as us. Could use the Inquisition, take a thing out of their hand... Or we could play Darcy or Ragavan. I think whatever we play is just going to get killed. Let's pull a card out of their hand. Okay, so they have Darcy, but we have Bolt as an answer to that. Um, if we take their Unholy Heat, they don't have an answer to Ragavan. Okay, so there's going to be a Thought Seize, which means we get to dash with Ragavan next turn. We could just slam the Ragavan. Okay, Thoughtseize glitch. Uh, I think drawing the Dragon Rage Channeler here and having two Ragavans, I'm just going to um, play both. And I'm going to want to go get a Blood Crypt so we have double black. Hey, I drew Darcy.
Oh, and Darcy's ready to go. 3-3 three, three flying. Okay, let's get rid of uh, the opponent's creature. Do I want a thought seize? Probably not. Get in there, Ragavan. All right, what does the opponent show us? They show us an Inquisition. So we could Inquisition them or we could play a Kroxa. I kind of like the Inquisition. We get to take the Colligan's command, guaranteed. Black Cleave Cliffs. Another land lets us start replaying Kroxa. I don't mind a land. Uh, I guess we just pass from here. Okay, so Island tells us they're not playing the same deck as us. They are playing Saltai. And they're going for a Inquisition here. Huh. I would have figured they would have went for like um, an Unholy Heat on the Ragavan. All right. So we could put Luris into our hand. We could Kroxa. I kind of like getting the Kroxa into the graveyard. Alright, and we'll attack for three... I'm not going to trade my Ragavan for their snap. Barbar, I think that you uh, are onto something there. And I think that a few of the decks that really need um, the power of the cards in hand have started to do that. And some other ones just really don't have that option. But that is a good uh, good card to keep your eye on. Mishra's Bauble. Looks like the opponent might be asking me to discard the Bauble. They're going to destroy the treasure. What a weird thing to... Oh, so I can't get the Kroxa back. Okay, so this guarantees I don't get to Kroxa.
Opponent is smart. Yep. They've been doing some smart stuff. Let's see if we can draw land. Inquisition. That is not what I wanted at all. Terrible draw. All right. Um, let's play Mishra's Bauble. Uh, what if they have um that stupid card? We should probably Inquisition to make sure we don't get uh, destroyed by um. Oh, what's the name of their counter spell? Drown in the lock. That is exactly what I was afraid of. That's why I didn't want to play the Luris. Another bobble to the graveyard with you. Pass turn. Just looking for a land. Not a Black Cleave Cliffs, though. I would like an untapped land. I know, I know. I'm greedy. So greedy. Maybe I should have been attacking with the Ragavan in case I drew another Ragavan. Both Luris. Well, at least it wasn't at our face. Game has really become close here. Oh, wait, we do that on upkeep. Don't do it yet. <laughs> We're doing our best, Babar. Scalding Tarn is their draw. I want to draw lands, though, opponent. Well. Maybe this Ragavan is just going to win for us? I think so. I think they're dead. We can even... Okay, we... <laughs> embarrassment of riches. Bullet you. Okay, so they're a very similar deck to ours, but they're splashing blue. So maybe some explosives. And that's probably all we need. So that we can potentially get like some two for ones. Just wondering if I want to bring in Pyrate Spellbomb. It would kill some of their threats. It kills their Luris. It kills their Ragavan. It doesn't kill their uh, Darcy. If the Darcy is uh, pumped up. If they have Voidwalkers, it would kill those too. 
Like, Spell Bomb seems like a decent removal spell, but we've already got Lightning Bolt, Terminate, Call Against Command, which do the same thing. So do we really want this? I mean, it draws cards, too. Which is pretty good with Luris. Uh, yep. Keep this. We can take this stop off the opponent's upkeep. We don't need that right now. That's a uh, spell bomb thing. Not a spell bomb, sorry. A, uh, ooh. Here comes Thought Seize from the opponent. Uh, Mishra's Bauble thing. What are you going to take, opponent? They take our Inquisition, so we cannot hit their hand. So we're going to play uh, Darcy into whatever their removal spells are. Alright, so the Lightning Bolt is the one card they don't know about. Okay, so they play Darcy. Now they have what? Lightning Bolt, Fatal Push, Unholy Heat. Alright, we get Ragavan. I think we'll probably just bolt their creature, play Ragavan. Okay, opponent with an untapped Steam Vents Pass. So they probably got Call Against Command, would be my guess. Uh, we miss on land, so we don't get to Call Against Command. Ragavan's amazing. One of the best magic cards printed in a long time. And it's printed alongside Urza's Saga, which is... Wow, what a set. I think I'm just going to play Engineered Explosives on one. Ooh, Spell Bomb from the opponent. Pretty good versus our Lurus deck. Get another Terminate, so we're just going to have to pass the turn. We're not hitting our lands, so we don't have the resources necessary to do the things. Bye-bye, Graveyard. There's a Darcy. So we got Engineered Explosives to take care of that. Oh, Expressive Iteration. Okay, so that's one of the reasons they're playing blue. I don't think they would be able to play Merc Tide. I mean, I guess they could, but having Blood Crypt and Mountain leads me to believe that they're not doing that. We're going to activate the Explosives, use our mana, trade one for one. And we draw a Kroxa, might as well play it. Not doing too much else. Until we manage to find another land. Or, you know, Ragavan. Ragavan would be fine. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so they get rid of K Command there. We have three Terminates. That Dragon Rage Channeler is so dead. 
We could put Luris on our hand here. I think I'm just going to terminate Darcy. Get out of here. All right, so they bolt us in response to get an extra trigger off the Dragon Rage Channeler. I am fine with that. And we'll pass the end step so we can uh, crack our fetch. Okay, they put Luris to hand and pass. All right, let's hope we draw a Inquisition of Kozilek here. Ah, uh, Blood Crypt. All right, so it looks like we're putting Luris to hand. Didn't quite have enough cards in the graveyard for Kroxa there. Uh, Kroxa costs five, right? Yeah, so we're missing one card. If we had drawn fetch land there, we could have done the Kroxa thing. There's Luris. We're probably going to do the double terminate thing here. Get rid of Luris, get rid of whatever they bring back. Ooh, Spellbomb's a good no, good one. They get rid of our Croaks that way, plus they get to draw a card. Good call. And that means our Luris is not very good this turn. All right, terminate there, Luris. They're going to immediately cash in their spell bomb, so they don't draw a card. Nice. Well, that's good for us. Um, we could play Luris here, but that leaves it open to a removal spell. I'm just going to pass with Terminate up. I'm not interested in trading my Luris for a Lightning Bolt. Oh no, Snapcaster Mage gets uh, Inquisition. They can take our Luris away. I mean, they would have had it either way. They had the Lightning Bolt as well. So. All right, we're going to terminate the Darcy in response to them targeting. So they don't get the uh, extra Surveil. Not great. Okay, they're going to attack with uh, Snappy here. No blocks. Makes sense. They got uh, Darcy back. And we draw land. Uh, I guess we just pass here. No reason to attack Ragavan into a 3-3. Oh, they're going all in here. Take it all. And this is where they uh, ninja, the Snapcaster Mage. Surprise! Got a ninja. Okay, so they have some removal for Ragavan here. We draw another land. Brutal. The deck is like, I thought you wanted land. Weren't you asking for lands a while ago? Didn't you specifically ask for a fetch land? It's all about timing, deck. I need the cards when I ask for them, not turns later.
Mulligan's command. Kill Ragavan. Return Luris. There's the Terminate. Now, oh, that's not as bad as it could have been. Still pretty bad. So we're gonna going down to four. What could we draw here? Colligan's command would be really good. Ugh, going down to three, I don't want to do that. Die to lightning bolt. Dothy Voidwalker is not what we need. All right, we're going to get rid of one of our sorcery speed removal spells for an extra artifact, get the extra soul guide lantern. Opponent was really punishing us with our graveyard, so let's bring in our uh, lanterns. Opponent's um, spell bombs were very, very good. All right, we'll be getting into the magic shortly. Opponent has 30 seconds left to finish their sideboarding. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, this is fine. Let's keep it. First turn spell bomb, second turn void walker. Opponents mulliganing, that's pretty good. Seems like uh, opponents got a tough choice on their second hand here. 
and we're good to go. I could probably go get Swamp to start. Uh, I could get Swamp second too. Let's just go ahead and get a Blood Grip to start. Okay, Thought Seize, probably take our Void Walker, because that's our turn two play, but they might take Colligan's Command, because that's a two for one. Especially if they have a removal spell ready for the Void Walker, Colligan Command is going to be the one to take. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Ooh, thought sees glitch. Slamming that void walker now. Another Colligan's Command, okay. Uh, so I think we'll just bring the Voidwalker back, make them discard a card. Scalding Tarn and a Dragon Rage Channeler. So we have the Spell Bomb to get rid of the Channeler. They have Sorcery Instant Land. So they are actually pretty close to uh, taking it up. Maybe we just Lightning Bolt it so that we don't have any risk. I don't think it's a big risk. Like them hitting Artifact or Creature. We're just going to go ahead and use the Spell Bomb. All right, this might be another Drown in the Lock. Terminate. Terminate has definitely been um, a pretty good card recently. Two mana destroys any creature, can't be regenerated, so it's a clean answer to um, Merktide. Hey there, Onion Lotus, glad you like it. Let's throw money at our opponent. Another Ragavan. Okay, well, we're going to dash one, see what happens. I guess we could call against command. No, I'm going to want to keep the call against command to kill their Lurus. Or the Lightning Bolt. So, yeah, we're going to use the Ragavan. See what we can get off the top of their deck. Or pull a removal spell out of their hand, maybe. Looks like we're getting in for damage. Nice. What do we pull off the top? Spellbomb. Yeah, okay. Play Spellbomb. Excellent. Excellent find. They're not going to be able to play anything with their Luris now.
and we can draw a card with the uh, the treasure. Okay, so they're playing. Um, we're actually seeing a ton of blue now, whereas in our uh, other games we didn't see quite as much blue mana. Makes me wonder if they could be running uh, Merc Tide, but I don't think they would. That would be too much tension, I think, with Darcy. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and use the spell on response. And why not? Draw a card. Oh, spell bomb of their own. Yep. So that means we're not going to be able to K command the Void Walker. Okay. So I guess we just bolt the Luris and use the Ragavan. Let's see what Ragavan gives us this time. A treasure and a snapcaster. Too bad we don't have enough mana. So we could put a snapcaster down. Seems fine. All right, so we're in a pretty solid position. But uh, opponent's got resources left, so we're not through this yet. The expressive iteration, is that what uh, is $10 a piece? I'm not uh, quite sure which one you mean. Because like any... This hand looks fine. Uh, start with Thoughtseize, and then look at Ragaman and Darcy. Uh, hold on a second. So they're playing Elementals. Can Elementals put something down turn one? to block our Ragavan. I think most of their stuff is like twos and threes, right? I'm just going to play Ragavan and hope we can uh, connect with it next turn. Probably should have Mishra's Bobbled first to see what was on top of their library. Misty. Okay. Uh, nothing else to do, Pastor. Even now, playing paper in eternal format is very risky. Yeah, any Modern Horizon set can just ruin your $3,000 deck. Your deck is gone. Like, you still have the pieces, but are they that good anymore? No play. No play. No play. No play. All right, so we could double Thoughtseize or we could Darcy Thoughtseize. I think I should just hit with a Ragavan first, regardless. We could Mishra's Bobble take a peek at what we're going to get. Does that give us any value? I don't think so. We get the value from the Darcy. Don't dismember me. Endurance. So we could just slam a 3-4? 
Nah, I think I'd rather go for Thoughts or Dragon Rage Thoughtseize Thoughtseize. Oh yeah, Heliod did kind of get crushed, you're right. Swamp. Do I want to swamp? No. Graveyard with you. I would like some removal, please. S'il vous plaît. Okay, so we take the Voice of Resurgence. They don't have a play. Then we take the Fury. And they don't have a way to kill our creatures. Um, I want to see what's on top of their deck before the next thought sees. Uh, land again to the graveyard with you. Yeah, more information is better. You're absolutely right, Antis. So they got another land on top. So yeah, we're just going to get rid of the Fury, I think, because of how good Fury is against us. Like, the Risen Reef is pretty strong, but we don't want them to Fury at any time. And we can get rid of Risen Reef next turn anyway. So this really, um... There's no rush. Mishra's Bauble... Graveyard. Cascade Omnath. Yeah, let's just get rid of Fury. Just get rid of all the cards in their hand. Only thing you're allowed to have are lands. Alright, so they play Flood Strand. It's our turn again. Let's thought seize. Get rid of the Risen Reef. Ooh, and Inquisition. Tear your hand to pieces. Did you want to play magic? Too bad. Voidwalker. Well, if we put that to the graveyard, our Darcy gets uh, Delirium, so let's do that. Get rid of Risen Reef. Attack. Opponent scoops. Not going to let us see their top card. I mean, that was brutal what we did there. Absolutely brutal. Alright, so Engineered Explosives is probably good. I think that's going to be the only card we really want out of the side. Is Colligan's Command really good in this matchup? I guess it's pretty mediocre. I mean, it is a two-for-one, which is pretty good, but opponent just, um, once they get their engine going, they're way more than two-for-one-ing. Culligan's Command could potentially hit Aether Vial if they play that. Um, hmm... Puka MTG, thanks for the follow, friend. Just uh, trying to think about how I'm going to sideboard versus elementals. I think I want to bring in the engineered explosives. Is explosives even going to be that good? They're going to have like twos and threes. It's going to be such a mix. I'm not sure explosives is even where we want to be.
We could bring in Spell Bomb. It kills uh, their early creatures for one mana. And it can draw a card. We can use it with Luris. All right, I'm gonna bring in Py Pyrite Spell Bomb. Not sure about this boarding for this matchup, but uh, this is what we're gonna do. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Sam and Graham. Yeah, I kind of figured after I thought about it for a little bit that explosives, not where we want it to be. I think Spell Bomb is going to be a little bit better. At least it hits their uh, their critters. Two mana to kill their three drop seems pretty good. Um, this is fine. It's not great, but uh, opponents mulliganing pretty heavily here, so the Inquisition looks pretty strong actually. Turn one Inquisition. Um, take whatever their turn two play is probably. Either that or a Risen Reef. Oh, so they do have uh, one mana play. That's a scary one. Puts an elemental on the top of their library. We can't Inquisition the top of their library. Anger would be a good sideboard piece. Um, you mean Anger of the Gods? I think we'd probably be a little bit better off with um, Kozilex Return. Okay, Black Cleave Cliffs, uh, we'll play that and we'll play the Inquisition. Okay, we get the other Harbinger, they have Fury Cavern of Souls. We can bolt the Mariner. Um, so yeah, we're doing okay. Yeah, K Return is a very good magic card. Get a Swamp. All right, so I'm pretty interested in just killing this Mariner, so let's just Lightning Bolt it. So the Cavern of Souls has been played. Mariner's been played. They just drew another Mariner. Okay. So we know they have Fury in hand. We can spell bomb the Mariner. We have enough mana. Agavan. All right. Um, we could throw the Ragavan into the Mariner. That doesn't seem like a good plan. Let's just uh, bomb it. So, Unsettled Mariner works quite differently from, um, what's name, Lean and Arbiter. Uh, with Mariner, a trigger goes onto the stack that you can pay for. 
With Lean and Arbiter, you got to click on the card to pay the mana before you do the thing. In Paper Magic, it's not really an issue, but um, on Modo, it sure is. All right, let's uh, use Ragavan here. See what their top card is. And we have not played a land yet, so we have up to three mana. Probably just use it to put Luris to hand. Oh, that's uh, that's a good one, Donut. I have not seen that interaction yet. That's not something that I would have thought of. So did you get got? Uh, Risen, <laughs> we could play their Risen Reef. Is that better than putting Luris to hand? Because we get to, we get to draw a card. I think we play the Risen Reef. No, we can't. We don't have the, we don't have the green and blue mana. It takes two sources of mana we do not have. So I guess we just put Luris to hand then. All right, no Risen Reef for you. And that's pretty great in itself, the fact that I get to take the Risen Reef away from them. So they only have three more in the deck. Risen Reef is uh, one of the ways they gain value. Okay, so they didn't play a land this turn, which means they probably have, I mean... They have Fury plus something that isn't a land. I think I'll just bolt the Harbinger and play Ragavan. Go from there. Uh, hold on. One, two, three, Luris. Play Spellbomb. Activate Spellbomb. Yeah, that's no good. I love Ragavan. This pirate has stolen my heart. That's all. Thanks for the follow, friend. Uh, so we got three mana. We could throw down Luris. If we do that, we expose it to their fury and we don't get any value out of it. I think I'm just going to play land past the turn. We can hold up terminate. Just try and continue to get value with Ragavan. This deck is really cool. It does so much with what it has. Okay, so they have a response this time. Oh, maybe not. Breeding pool tap, maybe they just want F6. Uh, we find a Sacred Foundry, so no get. Uh, I guess we'll just put a Pirate Spellbomb into play then. Okay, we still have Terminate up. We have the Spellbomb up, which could kill a um, Voice of Resurgence without activating it. 
If we get to keep the Lurus around for a turn, we get to start drawing with the Spell Bomb. Okay, they got a thing here. Foundation Breaker, which destroys um, an artifact. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. So they're going to target the Spell Bomb. We'll draw a card in response. We get to do so much this turn. It's crazy. We even get to take a peek at their hand. All right, hold on. Um. All right, I'm gonna wanna go bobble, look, inquisition, ragavan stuff. So yeah, let's bobble first. And we have the spell bomb to get rid of their blocker. So we're looking real strong. Opponent just couldn't get anything together this turn, um, or sorry, this game. Being able to, like, we got really lucky with our removal. They got really unlucky. All that said, the game's not over yet. So they have subtlety on top. Sure. Inquisition you. Double Fury. Okay. Uh, play the spell bomb. Kill your critter. Dash Ragavan. No, Ragavan's fine. These things, um, they don't have flash. No, they can't evoke. They cannot evoke Fury. It does not have Flash. Alright, so we could play Subtlety. Get a, an extra 3-3 three, three on the board here. Um, there's a couple of them that don't have Flash. Fury and Grief. I kind of like just slamming the Subtlety, honestly. Um, Hold on, cancel that. We gotta fetch first. Yeah, exactly. Might as well. We have the mana. We're not doing anything else with it. Might as well get an extra body on the board. And they're not going to be able to kill both Subtlety and Lurus with their uh, with their Fury. Win by the air. Exactly. We got a flyer now. And uh, if they don't kill Lurus, we have the Spell Bomb. To do extra damage. Ooh, and a Kroxa to make them discard a, a card here. Okay, so they can just slam the Fury, but we get to Kroxa the other one away. We can terminate this one. Actually, I think we should just win here. We terminate the Fury, then dash the Ragavan. GG. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, this has no lands. We will mulligan. Uh, this is fine. We'll keep this, get rid of a land. Uh, probably start with an Inquisition. Bruno Caleb, thanks for the follow, friend. Um, our opponent here is being really cool. Uh, being another streamer, they saw uh, the deck we were playing. And uh, he's being a real friend and telling us the deck that he's playing. So if he's playing food, then we can probably slam the Ragavan turn one.
All right, well, we got to get rid of a land anyways, so let's get rid of Marsh, or sorry, Blood Crypt. Oh yeah, keep this. Get rid of Blood Crypt. Done. Cool. Hey, thanks for the welcome back. Yeah, my internet just crapped out. Sorry about that. Uh, so what were we going to do? We were going to play Ragavan, right? Okay, that's great news. Looks like we're going to be able to get a connection in with Ragavan. So let's start with that. Uh, just a land. So I guess we probably just Inquisition here. Take a card. We could put Luris to hand, but I would much rather take a card away from them. Uh, I guess we're going to take the... As Murano Mardika Days Tina Kaldakar. Oh no, don't tell me you drew another one. Thoughtsy's glitch? No, Inner's Saga was the draw. That allows them to play the Emery. But we can terminate that, EOT. Oh, they're playing with Squee? Okay, that's an extra way to use the um, the foods, I guess. Another thought sees. Let's start with a hit. Find a uh, oval chaser. Well, that's something we can keep away from them anyway. Uh, so they have Urza monitor monitor. Let's take the Urza. Hey, thanks uh, everyone who came back to the stream. I had a uh, little bit of trouble with my internet there. Internet just died. But I was able to get it back before we conceded the match. So we still get to play Magic. Pew pew. Well, unfortunately, they can make a Saga token to block the Ragavan, but if they do that, we can terminate it. Okay, so they decide to go for food instead. Which is going to allow them to move towards Thought Monitor, and they have the Spell Bomb to return the Ragavan, so we don't get advantage. Well, in that case, we can probably put the Luris to hand. Let's see what we draw. Colligan's Command. Wonderful. So we could destroy their cookbook, make them discard a card. Don't have anything good in the graveyard yet.
Oh, of course, they just discard the Squee. I forgot they had that. Oh, that was dumb. I should have just put the Luris to hand. Oh, well, if I had left the uh, the cookbook around, they would have just been able to continuously... Wait a second. Oh, yeah, they got another cookbook, obviously. I'm just going to terminate the constructs, I think. They could potentially have counter magic. Hey there, Chuck. Thanks for the luck. Bloodlust, thanks for the follow, friend. I guess we probably should have played Ragavan there with the Terminate up. Maybe I'm thinking of it a little bit too much as a... Uh, as the dash, we could have definitely just played it there. You're right. See, yeah, if we had... Um If we had played the Ragavan, we could terminate the Thought Monitor, attack in with the Ragavan. That would be pretty good. Uh, we can still do that if we draw land. Now uh, we get Thought Seize instead. Uh, let's Thought Seize then. Ooh, that hand is uh, really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the thought monitors only cost one mana. One mana, Mole Drifter. Yeah, seems super good. I think we're losing this game. Look at all those thought monitors. That is too much value. I think we should probably scoop it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I got this no problem. Um, yeah, they errated terminate to say destroy target creature and each creature that shares a name with it. So this terminate maelstrom pulses your um your critters. All right, so we're going to want to bring in alpine moon, engineered explosives. That's probably it. Exactly. Terminate is now echoing decay. I'm wondering about how hard I honestly want to be hitting their hand. They have so much recursion. Lightning Bolt is good. Ragavan is so-so. Voidwalker is really good. Croaks is so-so. Terminate's pretty good. What about Colligan's Command? Yeah, that's super good. So yeah, I think we're going to have to take out some number of uh, discard spells anyway.
And then maybe we can just bring in Soul Guide Lantern. Is Dreadbore better than the Thoughtseize? Let's go with this. Didn't get to use the Collective Brutality at all today. That's okay. Used everything else. Um, This hand looks fine to me. I like turn 2 Dothy Voidwalker. Yes, I do. All right, we're going to be playing the Dragon Rage Channeler anyway, so we don't need to worry about the fork. Uh, top. And they're drawing Asmorano, Mardika, Dezatina, Kaldakar. Shadow Spear is their play. Okay. We get a Lightning Bolt and the Explosives we knew about. Um, so I'm thinking Void Walker and Explosives on zero. Uh, Ragavan on top. Putting Ragavan down puts us one away. On the other hand, Ragavan would be a really spectacular draw next turn. Or would it? Wouldn't mind a land for Culligan's command. I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch this to the graveyard with you. We don't need to stop on their upkeep anymore. We're going to take that off. Donut thinks that just playing two Dothy Voidwalkers wins this game. It very well could. Especially with them doing nothing turn after turn. Let's see what we draw. We get a land. Nice. Okay. So we could destroy the Shadow Spear... We could bolt them. I think we just, uh, let's see here. I think we have to bolt them so that we can um, get uh, Delirium, get that extra damage. On the land, to the graveyard with you. Nine damage on board, plus the Colligan's command in hand to finish it off. Nothing can be blocked here by their construct. Hey there, Pedro. Thanks for coming back. My internet died. But fortunately, I was able to make it back into the game before um, the game made me concede. Dreadbore, okay, let's just attack. Okay, pass the turn. We This is an instant. So as soon as they tap out, we'll cast it. Um, target player discards a card, two damage to a target. Yeah, yeah, that's why I wanted to wait till they tapped out to cast the Colligan's command so they could not have a, a rebuke there. Oh, good point, Donut. Do we wait for upkeep in case they have Force of Negation? 
I don't know that they would bring Force of Negation in for this matchup um, because value is so important. But um, I only played Urza's Kitchen one time and I did not do very well with it. So we probably shouldn't uh, take my word for what they're going to be bringing in out of the sideboard. Uh, Cookbook doesn't play Force. Like I said, I've only played the deck one time. Um, as the pilot, so I'm not too sure what they would be doing. Yeah, Metallic Rebuke, absolutely. They play some of those for sure. I uh, don't think we want to make any changes here. We'll just resubmit. Uh, cards like that, like it can also just come down to the pilot, right? Just because um, it's established that this list is the best doesn't mean that someone else is going to change things. And as metas shift, you're going to want to change your sideboards. Uh, so we got the Voidwalker. We got the Bolt. This hand is okay. It's not great. Oh, they have plays. Okay, cookbook to start. What do we get? Alpine Moon. Do we want to play the moon immediately, or do we want to try and use it as a land destruction spell? I think we probably just play it right now, just because of the timing, right? Like, we can play Alpine Moon 1, Voidwalker 2. You think moon in response as a one mana um, land destruction spell? I guess we could just hold up Lightning Bolt. That's the main reason I was thinking about landing the moon immediately, was mana efficiency. But we could just leave up Lightning Bolt for uh, Asmorano. I'm going to leave up the bolt for Asmorano and try and use the moon as a uh, removal spell. Ah, good point, Blake. Uh, so we're still in my end step because I have a... Uh, a stop there. We don't necessarily need that with this deck. Shadow Spear. And nothing. I uh, get a Blood Crypt. And we draw Blood Crypt. Um, so we could play the Voidwalker or the Kroxa. I think we just slam the Voidwalker. And they're going to do all their stuff so that they don't give us any uh, exiled cards for free. What are you going to do now, opponent? Thought Monitor? Oh, it's a Spell Bomb. Their hand doesn't seem to be amazing. It seems kind of mediocre. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, we get another land, speaking of mediocre. Probably just play Kroxa this turn. Extra medium, triple eight. Thank you for the follow, friend. Lurus, yeah. We don't have anything in the graveyard yet for the Lurus. I kind of like um, getting the Kroxa going. They only have three cards in hand, so whatever they discard. We just get to eat forever with a Voidwalker. And then we get to hold up Lightning Bolt. Yeah, okay. Um, do we use the Marsh Flats here? Get an extra card in the graveyard. Okay. 
Okay, bye bye, Emery. Um, yeah, we're gonna hold up Lightning Bolt. Pass turn. Uh, they play Swamp. And Urza. Okay, fortunately we have the Terminate. But they're gonna get a, a big construct out of that. And they get to use mana, of course. We can't Terminate. Um, the Urza right now, we don't have the mana for it. Just the Misty, okay. They've already played a land this turn, so they spend all that mana for nothing. Um, I kind of want to bolt them. Let's race. Alright, do we kill the Urza or the Karnstruct? So they're dead in four attacks. We're dead in three attacks. We probably have to kill the Karnstruct, right? Yeah, and the Shadow Spear would just totally end the game for us, basically. Yeah, we got to get rid of the Karnstruct then. Where's your Urza Saga? Play the card so we can play our answer. Use Voidwalker to cast Emery, then escape Kroxa. Ooh, that's a cool line. But then we would lose our Voidwalker. Oh no, the Thought Monitors. They're back and they're worse than ever. No! This is the worst of all worlds. Well, at least we get to see the opponent do some really cool stuff. Ah, uh, it's five. Spell bomb. Bye bye, Croxa two. Okay, so we have um, nothing. Yeah, we're going for the Jun five o classic, classic Cooper. Oh, don't forget uh, Siege Rhino. I remember playing Siege Rhino back in Standard. They would always come in, you know, like it wouldn't be one. You'd have two or three or four. Crash of Rhinos. Extra Seasoning. Stop hitting me. Ah, uh, Dread Boar. So we can get rid of the Urza. One, two, three. Dread Boar plus Bobble. Crap. 
Proxa. Play the Luris. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's see if we can do this a little bit smarter. I want to block with the Dragon Rage Channeler. I don't want to attack. So let's go to second main. And now cast the Luris. And maybe we can get our uh, Dragon Rage Channeler to fly. Uh, engineered Explosives. Not great. That is not going to hit Thought Monitor. It could hit Shadow Spear, but it also gets rid of our Dragon Rage Channeler if we do that. I don't think Explosives is where we need to be. Graveyard. And unfortunately, that means DRC is not going to be able to block. That is why we should have uh, bobbled ourselves to see if we should have left the Blood Crypt untapped. Could have went to six here and killed the Thought Monitor. That's a good one from the opponent. Doesn't matter what we do. The opponent's got it all. Every once in a while, you're going to play magic games like these where you struggle and you think like, okay, maybe I can find a way back, and no, the opponent's already got too much value. Why not play another one? Then you get another construct. Does money mean budget? Uh Rakdos budget deck. I mean, everyone's got some room in their budget for a monkey. EE looks good. Yep. EE for zero. Kill their constructs. Kind of figured they were going to Aether Spellbomb the Luris there, but uh, they didn't. Sorcery Creature Artifact. Maybe we should have gone to... Um, oh, that's Enchantment. So now the Dragon Rage Channeler is going to attack. That's true, we can soul guide something out of our graveyard. Ah, oh, but I don't want this Black Cleave Cliffs on top either. <laughs> Not anymore. Now we have five different types. It doesn't matter, it's all fine. Um, we'll get rid of one of their cards, we'll get rid of Nil Spellbomb. Um, engineered explosives for zero. Because we want to attack with the Luris, it gains some life. If they block with the Urza, we can kill the Urza with a lightning bolt. If they don't, we can kill the Thought Monitor with a lightning bolt. Oh no, they have stuff. Okay, so yeah, they use the spell bomb here. So we don't get to gain the life. Um, we're at three. So we're dead. We can kill the thought monitor, but they still have three damage coming in here. 
Yep, that's the last thing we can do. We have to draw off the Soul Guide Lantern. Maybe we can draw like another Lightning Bolt. Uh, Bloodstained Mire, that's not going to do the trick. We could kill ourselves with it though. All right, let's see if they attack all. They do? All right, so here's what we're going to do in response. Lightning Bolt ourselves. And then before we let the Bolt resolve, Fetch Shock. Oh, we don't have a Shock Land! Ah! Poop. Anyways, good games. So we got our uh, play points back, plus we got a chest. And we got to have fun with the monkey. Oh, wow. Blake Trusty with the sub. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you, friend. Haha. <laughs> Oh, it was totally worth it then. Bolt self. Even if we didn't have the fetch shock, we could still finish it on our terms. All right, so I'm going to spend a moment talking about the deck. Um, and then after that, we're going to do a raid. So if you want to stick around, um, get some uh, channel points, um, then yeah, that's that's the plan. Hey, thanks, Def Chad. GG's. Sorry about the... Uh, the internet thing at the start, but um, yeah, great games there. So, um, when I was checking for a deck today, um, I was pretty certain that I wanted to play the Rakdos Monkey deck, and I found this one that uh, White Principe had uh, 5 0 with. Um, deck is really, really strong. Uh, this deck is taken the place in many people's uh, gauntlet. It's taken the place of the um, Rakdos Death Shadow. So instead of dealing a whole bunch of damage to ourselves and then playing a, a large shadow or... Oh, excuse me. Or a um, Scourge of the Skyclaves, we can just slam... Darcy, Ragavan, and Dothy Voidwalker. These cards are so good for the amount of mana that you're paying for them, and they'll close out a game very, very quickly. The card advantage and mana advantage that Ragavan gives you is not to be underestimated. And then we're also just playing some of the best um, disruption and removal in the format um, using Terminate because of uh, Merktide. And then, I mean, Thought Seize Inquisition, no surprises there. Uh, really cool option to the sideboard with Pyrate Spell Bomb and Engineered Explosives to be able to get rid of protection from red and protection from black creatures. And then Alpine Moon to get rid of Urza's Saga. Um, if you have the, uh, the monies or if you have a rental service with a high uh, value cap, I would highly recommend picking up this deck. But it is currently very expensive with the uh, the full four of Ragavans, full four of Mishra's Baubles. This deck is not cheap.